Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Fuck out of here. No. Malenberger. He got robbed, Malenberger. You thought he won the early part of the fight? I thought he won. You know what? The early part of the fight. I'm, I gave it. I gave it. Nigga, um, the guy Adrian just beat Vargas was gonna be knocked out. Adrian won that fight. Simple as that. Who won the fight? Who won the fight? Who won the fight? Who won the fight? Eric Kelly. Oh, you don't speak English. You can't say nothing. You punch He doesn't even speak English. He doesn't speak English, you dumb bastard. Fuck you. Fuck you. Minestrone motherfuckers. Me. Me tell me shit says Venezia. Me tell me shit says Venezia. Yo. Hey. You you making fun of Italian? Your shirt is your shirt is an Italian city. Hey, as soon as he grew up, he got some Gucci I, I shit right away. Oh no, he at least he got Jordans on today. Right? He makes fun of Italians, but the first thing he got is either Prado or Gucci. Yo, yo, get the fuck out. And what restaurant is he? Yo, he lost. Yo, get the fuck out, my face. Yeah, I love you, baby. I love you. Pull it, pull it, pull it. Get the fuck out, my face. Probably. What should the punishment have okay, been for Canelo? Huh? What should the punishment have been? Could have been six months, but we could have just done a, a, a strong. A, oh, what's up, man? We could have just done a, a strong, a, a strong uh, uh, probationary period for two years. What's up, man? Uh, where he gets strictly random drug tested for two years straight um, on a regular basis, randomly. Um, and that, during that probationary period, if he fails another test, and he would be suspended for two or three years, you know. But uh, you have to actually want to catch him to do that. And the, the, probably the problem is when everybody will get catch these people is they're scared to catch a guy like that again because then they gotta be forced to suspend them for a long time. So they want to put themselves in a position to catch him again. That's the hypocrisy of boxing. Oh, we've already gone into this. Can Golovkin be yeah. criticized for fighting a guy off a two-year layoff with everything considered? What happened? Yeah, thank you, bro. Can you criticize Golovkin's choice in Vadas Matarosin for fighting a guy off a loss in two years? Listen, Vannis always comes to fight. I, you know, considering he's going to be a short term, short notice fight, I don't think it's a, I don't think it's the worst fight. Vannis is, Vannis is one of those guys with a lot of character. You know what I'm saying? It's, I, you need guys with character to, to at least uh, uh, tough it out in these kind of fights. It's going to be a kind of fight where you got to dig down. You know, playing Golovkin, you always have to dig down. So Vannis has a lot of character. So I don't, I don't mind the fight. If there's going to be a guy to replace the fight, you needed somebody with character. Because somebody with just skills, and you know, you have to question their character. You know, they might just jump in there for the paycheck and go home. You know, but Vannis is actually going to go fight, fight, regardless of how it ends for him or against him. He's going to go in or out fighting. Jamal Cinco Chola had a crazy knockout. No Mexican fight. Huh? Can it really be considered a Cinco de Mayo fight? With no, with a Cinco de Mayo, when fighting. Mexicans fighting, you know, that, that, that didn't start that long ago. I mean, how long ago did it start? I mean, we, during my lifetime, we don't always have Cinco de Mayo Mexican fighters. You know, it was whatever, you know? I mean, Floyd Mayweather fought Cinco de Mayo every year. Is he Mexican? He with his opponents, man? <laughs> <laughs> Against a Mexican? He ain't a taco after the weigh-in. Oh, come on. <laughs> Is Golovkin going to wear some Probably. You know, he gets, they, they don't call him, they, he gets a lot of Mexican fans. No, he goes to the body like a Mexican fighter. I don't know. Jamal Charlo. You can't, you, can't, you can't snatch the September and the May 5th dates. You can't snatch both of them. You know, it is what it is. You know, the best fight in boxing should be for those. And, that, and that's still in honor of Mexicans oh, because they're, yeah. they're, 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 in Mexico, the, the sport is so big that I just think a big fight on Cinco de Mayo and a big fight on Mexican Independence Day, regardless of who's involved, is, is still a big deal. Jamal Charlo had a crazy knockout second round tonight's card. What what kind of statement did that send to the middleweight division and thoughts on him calling out Golovkin? What type you know, of fight is that? I don't mind seeing the fight. I thought he looked good. Uh, I thought the knockout was uh, spectacular and, um, you know, continues to make a statement. I think, you know, when you get knockouts like that, what is, what is there to say? Ma Ma said will be next week over here to see Danny. Hmm? Yeah. Ma will be here next week to see the Danny fight. What do you yeah, think? Might as well he'll, 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 that's a good fight, too. You know, I, 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 I wouldn't mind seeing anybody, uh, any of those guys uh, interchanging against one another and fight one another. It'd be a good fight. Joshua Wilder, who's the hold up in that situation? Uh, just negotiations in general. You know, I, I wouldn't blame one guy. I wouldn't blame one guy uh, for uh, 
for um, for for fighting or for you know for holding on to the. I just realized I didn't wear earrings all night. You believe this shit? <laughs> I, I took a shower, I took them off, and I didn't put them back in. You imagine? You didn't wear them on the camera tonight. I didn't have any earrings on tonight. <laughs> I, 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 I hate going out with no earrings. I'm just touching my ears with my earrings. Who, who <laughs> wins, Joshua Wilder, or just break down uh, the stylistic? I, I, I just think uh, you know it, it's it, it's anybody's fight. Uh, it's hard to pick a winner. I think there's 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 uh, deficiencies in both guys that the other guy can take advantage of, uh, so it's hard to pick a winner. Like I said, if I had to bet my house, I would just pick the under. Eddie, does this victory, and I wouldn't even really be confident about that either. Because they got a lot of character and they get up. Does this victory for Charlo uh, makes him the number, like the top guy at 160 over Centeno? What's your thoughts about that? Um, I just think Charlo can, continues to uh, show who, his worth in the middleweight division. And, um, you know, there's a lot of top guys, there's a, few, a handful of top guys in there that you can mix and match him with, and I think it'd be good fights. Eddie's $12 million offer, fair or foul? Who? Eddie's $12 million offer to Deontay. He, uh, I don't know, you know, it is, uh, you know, it, it, it is what it is. I don't know I don't know all the numbers there, you know. I'm, it's for the undisputed heavyweight championship yeah, in the world, yeah, though. You, you think that's a little bit low, right? Remember back in the days yeah. when Holyfield Tyson, when yeah. all the belts were on the line, super yeah. heavy, you know, super big heavyweight fights. Yeah. They gotta be like 15, 20 million dollars north, in my opinion, though. I thought that yeah, was I don't, I don't, right. I don't, Like I said, I don't know what the total number is, uh, right. you know, what, the, what the total pot is. When you're taking all the total pot and then you, you're considering that purse, then I guess you, know, then you can do the negotiations. I'm not at the negotiating table where I know what the total pot is. And that, and so I'm not in a position to say who deserves how, what money because if I don't know the percentage, if I don't know what the entire pot is, I don't know what if I don't know what 100 percent of the money is, I can't tell you what I deserve out of that money. You know, so yeah, I think anybody trying to get into these negotiations is totally out of line because you don't know how much money's in the pot. We'll we'll never know that. You know. Now, Showtime's been killing with a lot of double headers, triple headers. What's it like being on, on this side of the fence? HBO doesn't really have many fights. You're a uh, hell of a time. Um, I have a fun time working. Um, like I said, uh, it's called people before. I feel like I'm cheating when I'm, when I'm uh, working these fights. You know, I, I think it's, it's fun. Especially this one. This one's home. I'm just going to go over to take it in the car and go back home. You know, so it's cool. I don't even have to really do a lot. You know, so it's cool. Uh, it's, fun. it's weird because back in the day, it was always HBO was the number one box and Showtime was number two. Now yeah. the roles are switched. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, I think whoever, wherever you find a good fight, if uh, you know, I think everybody should be thankful for any network that puts on a good fight. And right now, we're we're, uh, we're lucky enough to have all the all the good fighters the coming out. Right invested network, you know? in the boxing. Yeah. You know, get yeah. people paid, so get cool. people out. Thirteen thousand people in Brooklyn tonight too. Great crowd. Yeah. A good fight. It's got to be one of the best venues in the country to see a fight too now. Yeah, yeah, they've they committed to boxing here. It's, it's a good venue. They've definitely committed to boxing. And I think uh, them having the Nassau Coliseum as well in Long Island, they can kind of do uh, both sites and then hopefully, you know, we just continue to put fights on and, and, and even put more fights over there too. So it'll be two sites with uh, big for big venues in boxing. And of course, the Garden's still in New York too. So New York is a, is a big uh, fight hub right now. It'd be nice to see right now. if Anthony Joshua, if Eddie, Eddie does bring him over here to fight Big Baby, you know, that'd be kind of interesting though, Anthony yeah. Joshua in Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, I, I think uh, people are curious about Joshua here, you know. I think, uh, you know, Joshua gaining a certain measure of popularity in the U.S. is important uh, if, to, to raise the stakes in the Wilder fight. It's like when the Prince came over to fight Kevin Kelly. Yeah. Was it the first fight you were ever at? Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, so when the Prince came over, it was a big deal fighting yeah. somebody in New York. Yeah. In, in yeah. their city. And, like, yeah, yeah. Joshua and Big Dave. Same kind yeah, of energy, yeah. right? Yeah, it actually makes a lot of sense. Yeah, the, 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 the Prince fought Kevin Kelly when he came to America. Mia Khan fought me when he came to America. And Joshua fights the Rob Miller. It's the same kind of us. Uh, using the same kind of a. Uh, uh, the flight path, so to Now, another fight I covered in Vegas uh, that Showtime hosted was the Edison Lada versus Charlo. Afterwards, Jamel Charlo says he wants that work with her. What type of fight is that? Her versus fight. Charlo. You know, I think uh, we're going to be mentally and physically tested in the fight, so it's a good fight. We'll see, we'll see how it plays out. You know, uh, If it happens, I think everybody's going to be happy about it. You know. All right, guys. I got to get out of here. Thanks for your time, boys.